So today we are solving problems on arrays and there's like five almost identical problems here. And uh, by almost identical, I mean you can simply copy and paste the solution and you only need to adjust a single line of code. You don't even need to change the whole line, just make small adjustments. So we will, I think, uh, solve all of them in this uh, one video because it does make sense to make a 30 second video that's uh, really similar to the previous video. So I think that we will simply introduce the arrays here. We will talk a little bit about the theory and then we will just solve all of those problems in one go. And uh, without further ado, let us uh, get to it. Let us open a, s a separate script and try to talk a little bit about the arrays. So what are arrays in programming in Bash? Why do we need them? Uh, we have already talked about variables that whenever we want to store some value, let's say a number or text, a string, we can use a variable. We give this variable a name and then we can uh, store something inside it and later in the script or in the program we can retrieve this value and uh, we can also input uh, we can use an uh, user input to uh, store values inside variables uh, arrays are a little bit similar so we are also storing something inside arrays they also have names but we are storing more than one thing so if i have an um, a number of values that serve a similar purpose. Maybe I don't want to create five, uh, let's say five variables for them. I can simply create an array with this same, uh, with this single uh, name, and then use this array to store those four uh, or five values. And maybe there are even more values, like a hundred, that uh, serve a similar purpose. Then. I could use single array, store all of them there, and just use this one array. If I would uh, have to use variables, I would need to come up with 100 unique names, and so on. So they solve some problems, they allow us to store multiple values under a single name, and that give, uh, that's uh, really powerful. It uh, allows us to build uh, much more uh, flexibly our scripts. And uh, maybe now we can just uh, try to build a simple array. Uh, let's call it array at the beginning. And uh, we use equal sign as with variables. We store something there using equal sign and then parentheses. And inside those parentheses, we can simply um, put whatever we want to store there. Let's say we will store three numbers, one, two, three. And now those three numbers are hidden behind the same array and we can access them later in the program. So in our case, there are only two lines here. We can access one of those vari uh, one of those values using its index. So uh, besides uh, this um, thing that uh, arrays are storing multiple values, they are also giving them indices. So the first value is uh, stored under uh, index uh, 0, then 1, then 2, and so on. So those indices are ordered, and uh, they always work the same way almost in every programming language. So when I want to uh, access a, a, um, an element of array under index uh, 0, then I would put it like this. And with arrays, we also need uh, curly braces. And then that's my first element. In this case, maybe it's a bit misleading uh, because uh, I put here one, but uh, one is my first element and uh, it's uh, stored under index uh, zero. And let's uh, test this program and see what we got. If we got one, if I put two here, I should get three. And now let's give it another value. I could also use uh, strings uh, here inside my array, not only numbers, and that's how it works. So we are getting multiple values under a single name, and uh, those uh, those values are ordered, and we can access them using their indices. And uh, whenever I 
have an array that's already existing in memory, they are really uh, easy to manipulate. That's a wonderful thing about Bash. I can simply access next uh, index, in this case three, and put some additional value there. Let's say all total. And I can display all the values using add sign. Bash doesn't like spaces, so let's remove this. And that's how we can modify it later. So uh, I can add additional values. I can uh, replace an existing value, let's say, instead of one, I want to store X there. And that's how it works. So there are those indices. We can access the elements using the indices and uh, the indices uh, are pretty flexible. I can even give it um, an index uh, that it's uh, not really, um, that, that doesn't follow the order correctly, but it's uh, simply um, some number that's bigger than the length of my array and it will still work. And if I would do it like this and now use a smaller index, let's say seven, then I can still manipulate my array. And in most programming languages, uh, something like this wouldn't work. So that's uh, one of the differences between Bash and other programming languages, something that you should be aware of. And I think it's pretty cool. Uh, that's a uh, huge flexibility. So that's how we create an array. That's uh, how we can access uh, the element. We can read an element using its index. We can modify its value. We can assign a value to an element that didn't exist before and so on. Now, what do I have to do if I want to read an array? We already know, maybe let's uh, remove it from the theme, that if you want to read a uh, variable uh, from the user, if we want uh, to allow our users to input some values to our script, we can use this command called read. And then we are simply after read, we are giving the name of our variable where we want to store the values inputted from the users, let's say var. But we can also do it with arrays. And the trick is to use a special flag called minus a and uh, then it will simply, um, instead of storing the values inside a variable, it will store the values inside an array. Our case is called array, but we can call it any other name, let's say elements and so on. So if I put my script like right now like this, I can give it the following elements a, b, and c, and it's stored inside the script. I can even show you that's, that's how it works. Uh, we can access on the element on the index zero and element on the index two, let's say. Did I write it correctly or not? I think yes. Take it, see. And it works correctly. It splits it based um, on the default delimiter space and uh, assigns uh, those values to elements of uh, an array. So it creates an, uh, an array called elements and the values are inputted from the user. I think that's pretty much it when it comes to the theory. Uh, we can also uh, maybe display the number of elements that are inside the array like this. Hash. And the same thing. Add for all elements and here's square brackets. Square brackets, curly brackets, curly braces and that's it. 
let's use now x, y, z, number of elements is 3. Perfect. So that's pretty much it when it comes to the theory. And we can now solve uh, our task with uh, countries. We are supposed to give a list of countries, each on a new line. Your task is to read them into an array and display the entire array with a space between each of the country's names. Now we know what we should do, have to read an array, we can call it countries and uh, list of countries as input, the only characters present the country names will be upper or lower case characters and hyphens output display the entire array of countries name, the space between each of them and uh, yes that's an sample, so couple of lines with strings and then we should display the same strings uh, without uh, new lines between them only using the spaces as delimiters so we can use echo with minus n flag then it would not uh, display each element as a separate line or maybe not even minus n I think we don't need it here uh, let's try it like this we will see it's uh, countries, 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 at with gray. Namibia, wrong answer, uh, okay. We have to also change the delimiter because the default delimiter is space. That's what we did uh, in the terminal. And right now we want to have a new line as a delimiter. So let's uh, do it like this, minus this, the delimiter flag. And it should work correctly. So two lines of code for the whole task. Uh, we are reading the, an array of countries, and then we are displaying all of them to the screen, to the standard output. We can submit the code and see if everything is fine. And now we can copy and paste the same code to other tasks, like uh, we solve this one with an array, uh, then there is slice an array, but I think there is more similar one display an element of an array. So that's it. It's the same array of countries. And they simply want us to display the element index at three. Note that indexing starts from zero. Wow, so let's put three here and see if it works. We can directly submit the code. Everything is fine. It's uh, the same task, as I said. And uh, what's next? Count the number of elements in the array. That's also something that we've did before. It's simply displaying the same array of uh, countries. And we have to count them so we can display the length of our array using the hash. That's something that we already know. So, as I said, it's the same task over and over. So this was the third task from this series. And now we can use slice. Slice is moderately different. Yeah. Let's see what they want. So given a list of countries, each on a new line, your task is to read them into an array, then slice the array and display only the elements lying between positions three and seven. So that's something a little bit different to what we've already done. We need to know how to do this um, in Bash, but we could already use our knowledge uh, that we've gained so far. And let's remove this hash and do it like this. Those are constants, so adding is all a pretty reasonable solution. Couple uh, of things, uh, a couple of elements you can display something like this. But there is another way to do it, uh, maybe a little bit more readable. We are displaying all elements and then we are using um, a table dot to uh, specify the start index, so in this case three, and then how many elements we want to display. So between three and seven, inclusive, we have uh, five elements, if I'm not mistaken. Let's write a code. Let's run the code. Congratulations, everything is green and submit. Everything is green. 
and that's how we can slice an array in bash so we uh, are using the uh, this part to display all the elements and then we are specifying the first index that we want uh, to show and then a number of elements after this starting index uh, that we want to use that's the only thing this this part might be the only tricky part um, but uh, if you already hear this uh, if you've already heard about this uh, or you've seen this before i think it's pretty simple let's uh, copy it i mean simple in comparison to other tasks that uh, they are showing us here and uh, that's uh, also similar to it concatenate an array with itself so given a list of countries as uh, in every other task each on a new line your task is to read them into an array then concatenate the array with itself twice so that you have a total of three repetitions of the original array and then display the entire concatenated array with it, with a space between each uh, of the country's names. Okay. So, that's what we already know. We are displaying the whole array. If you want to display it three times, uh, not like this. Ah, uh, sorry, I've copied everything. Uh, I only wanted to copy this part. And this part, yes. We simply copy and paste the thing that we've already displayed once to more types. And that should be it. Let's run the code. Congratulations. So the tasks in uh, this section, I think, are even simpler than in the first section. That's it for this one.